Hello guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can upload your website to your web hosting. This is part of a series of videos that I create using Dreamweaver, HTML, CSS, and also Photoshop. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can go here to the playlist, okay? And here, take a look at the Ski Project Dreamweaver CC 2019, okay? And if you go to this playlist, okay, I'm gonna pause this. And then you can see here on the right, I have all the videos. First, we start with the white frame, then we did the mockup. Here you can see the HTML. Then we added in two videos, the basic CSS, then media queries to make the, the website responsive. And then we created a drop down menu, okay? And then you can watch the video. And on the comments of the video, I'm gonna put all the links that you need, okay, as well. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload this project. All right, let's start. If you want to upload this website, what you have to do, you have to go to the site menu and then select manage site. Okay, here I have my site, you can double click to edit. And then here, what you have to do, you have to go to the servers. And here you have to create a new server. And here, what I'm going to ask you is to put the FTP server, okay? How you can have that? First, you have to hire a hosting provider, okay? In that case, for example, if I go to Chrome, you can use, for example, Bluehost, GoDaddy, HostGator, or any web hosting, and then you have to have a domain name and then a hosting, okay? Then you have to go inside the control panel. Here, you have to search for the FTP, okay? And inside the FTP, you can create an FTP account. Or if you scroll all the way down, it's very common to see the special account or the account that you can log in in your website is already there, okay? For example, if I click here, configure FTP client, you can download, for example, this one. You can use FileZilla or Core FTP or Cyberdog. I like Cyberdog. That is a software that you can connect that software to your website and you can download the configuration file and instructions. Okay, if I go, for example, to Cyberdog, okay, you can download this software, it is free. And then as soon as you download, then you will have this file that you can just double click and then you can go to your site. Okay, now I am here, I have to put my user and password and then I'm gonna go inside. And here, this is all the folders that I have on my website. I have to go to the folder public HTML. And then if you have more than one website on that hosting provider, you will see the different website here, okay? For example, one of my website is eugenetrainer.com, okay? And I'm going there inside, and this is all the different folders and material that I need to run my website. That website is a WordPress website. But for example, I am going to create a folder here because I would like to put the website inside a folder because I would like to test first. In that case, I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call ski, enter. Okay, and now I have that folder inside. And then if I go to my browser, I can put here Eugenio Trainer. And then I had to put slash ski. Okay, and if I go there, okay, and here I have all the directory of my website. And now I can upload to that folder. I am going back to Dreamweaver, okay? And here I'm gonna put here Eugenio Trainer, for example. And then I had to put the FTP. Okay, I have to put my user and then the password. Okay, and you can test here. If you test, now you can see it's working. 
But if you remember, I put that folder inside my website. What I have to do, I have to put a directory. In my case, is public underscore HTML slash the name of my website. I don't have to put the dot com slash and then ski. If I go to the Cyberdoc software, you can see that is the path that I need to put, okay? If you don't have more than one website inside, you have to put just inside the public HTML, that's it. You don't have to put the directory. Okay, I am going to test this. And it's working. I'm gonna click okay, and then you can save this twice. And now you can see on the files panel, you can go here to the local view and you can select the remote server that will connect with the eugenetraining.com. And you can see here is the folder that I have to upload. I'm gonna go back to the local view and I am going to upload just one file, just the index. What you have to do, you have to click on this arrow. It's asking me if I want to put all the dependent file. I'm gonna put no, just the index. And now it's uploading that file. And if I go to Google Chrome, and if I refresh, what you will see is the information, but you don't see the design because we have to upload all the other folders in order to see the website. I'm going back to Dreamweaver. I'm gonna open the files panel and I am going to select everything and I'm going to upload everything to the server. Okay, now everything is there. I'm going back to Chrome and I am going to refresh. Okay, now you can see the website is live in this moment on this URL. And if I go back to Dreamweaver, if you do any change, for example, I'm gonna put the ski web here the ski web okay i can save it then you just go to the files menu select the index file okay and then you can just upload again okay what's going to happen you don't have to put all the related files just if you change all the thing for example the css or anything and then you can go back to google chrome and you can refresh and now you can see that is the new title you see, that is the idea of this website. Everything is working. Maybe you have to do a few changes. You have to try if the responsive net is working, if this menu is working, okay? And then you have to upload all the other pages. And I am going to test here all the areas. And if you see here, I have a problem that all these two elements are not aligned to the center. What I have to do, I am going to Dreamweaver Okay, and it's this area, this one down. And if I scroll all the way down, you can see that is the articles two and the articles three, okay? If you remember the article two and three here, I create this wrapper and I put that as a flex, okay? What I'm going to do, I am going to the style, okay? I'm going to all the way down and you can see I have the article two and three display flex. But what I didn't do, I had to put here the article two home comma article with period because it's a class article three home okay open and close curly brace or curly brackets and I have to put here flex one okay because both are going to use just one area of the flex I'm going to save. If you want, you can test, okay? For example, I am going to test in Safari. If I go down, now you can see it's on the center, it's working. And then what I have to do, just go to the files panel. And here you have to upload the CSS, okay? If I open here, I'm gonna select the ski style, okay? Double check, you already saved the CSS. Upload the CSS. You don't have to put all the related files. And then the only thing that you have to do is go to Google Chrome. And then I am going to refresh. And now you can see everything is working properly. All right, that is the entire tutorial that I create on these serious videos. I hope you like guys. 
please subscribe to my channel because then you can receive notification if I'm going to create more videos. Okay, guys, I hope you like everything. See you on the next one. Bye.